I hope I have enough storage for this, cause child, huh. <laughs> Yo, yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check Give it a microphone, I make the make it a microphone dead Don't step to me newbie, I could truly be moody I could've played the fucking Grinch in the movies I've been a part-time shadow cat part -time. Hello citizens, it's Sage, it's Sage and welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you have never seen my face before, hi, welcome. My name is Sage and I hope you're here to stay. And if you are not new here and you are not new to my channel and you have seen me before and you're used to this, what's good, what's popping, all my old time citizens, all my old time subbies, what's good with you? So today, you guys, is a very exciting day. Today is technically the 27th of April. Um, as you all know, National Decision Day, May 1st is on Saturday. But we are going to be announcing these things kind of early, you know, just kind of just just a little bit early. Um, so if you see this and you know you follow me on Instagram. You didn't see this, <laughs> but you know, this is besides the point, this is besides the point. Um, anyways, I'm gonna talk about kind of like my top five choices, um, kind of where they fell and stuff like that in terms of, um, you know, the things that I liked, the things that I didn't like, the things that, you know, worked out, the things that didn't. Then I'm going to announce at the end where I am going. Um, I don't have anything fancy like cupcakes or brownies or like paper pyramid or anything. I'm real candid. So yeah. Anyways, we're just going to get right into the video because I've been talking to so my top five schools and I'll make sure to put them over here. My top five schools that I was choosing from at the time um, was Clark Atlanta, Tuskegee. James Madison University, Virginia Tech University, and Georgia State. Um, so these were like my top five schools, the schools that in my opinion, um, either based off of location and or scholarship money that I really, really liked and that I felt comfortable going to if I got, you know, the opportunity to go to any of them. Um, so starting with Clark Atlanta, um, Clark Atlanta, was my dream school um is the school that I had been dreaming about getting into since uh freshman year i went to atlanta and i visited um during the time that we had visited uh the honda battle of the bands was about to go um was about to happen and for all of my band geeks out of the out here you know y'all know what the honda the honda classic is about like it's they play no games, but it was really nice. You know, like we got to, you know, kind of see like the band room where Drumline was filmed and, you know, all these other things. So really liked the atmosphere of the campus. Um, I thought it was really kind of like close quarters, which I really liked. I liked the diff the fact that uh, um, because I'm going to major in business, I liked the fact that business was one of their top majors, you know, they're accredited and stuff like that. Um, their English program wasn't too bad either. And that's something that I wanted to go into. Um, you, I could test into a different like French class, depending on like my level that I get on the placement test, you know, things like that. Um, so I really enjoyed the school itself. Um, I did end up getting a Dean's scholarship from them in which I was automatically enrolled into the honors college and I was given full tuition. Um, I later got another scholarship that I can't necessarily stack on top of the um, full tuition scholarship, but it is merit-based and it is worth $10,000. So I did get that from them. Another thing about Clark Atlanta was that, um, unfortunately I could not roll with them only because there was going to be too much money that I was going to be out as far as like debt and things like that. Um, if you know me personally, then you you know that I have been struggling with like 
applying for scholarships and getting scholarships. Um, I haven't received any that I have applied for so far. I could see early on that me trying to afford, you know, going there easily was not happening. <laughs> um, so, and that kind of got more and more apparent um, after like financial aid and stuff like that came out. Um, it's very expensive to go down there. Um, so even though they gave me full tuition, which I am very grateful for, I couldn't rock with them and you know, it hurt, but it's okay. You know, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I am okay with that. Next on my list was Tuskegee University. Um, Tuskegee, like Clark Atlanta, um, gave me full tuition scholarship. They also gave me a $800 book stipend, which would have been really, really nice. The thing with Tuskegee, um, was, you know, it was kind of legacy, but like kind of not legacy. Um, one of my great grandparents had went to Tuskegee. Uh, well, two of my great grandparents actually had went to Tuskegee. That's how they met. They met at the school and stuff like that. I really love the band culture at Tuskegee. So if I had went there, you know, if I had chosen to go there, which I didn't, um, you know, I would definitely be in the band, involved in the band, you know, still like participating and stuff like that. They do have a really good business program that I really liked. To me, their, uh, you know, their style of doing things is kind of similar to Clark in a way, but also different um because it would be in Alabama and not in Georgia which I do believe would be further away from us kind of sort of not really I just feel like with them unfortunately I never received my financial aid from them um and the way that everything was reading or maybe I interpreted it wrong but the way that it was seeming was as if I had to pay my deposit before I got my financial aid which didn't really make any sense to me so I was like yeah so great school don't get me wrong um would have loved to go to tuskegee i mean it's hbcu the culture there would have been amazing like <laughs> it's tuskegee with james madison um that is uh that was my top school in state it had been for the longest time uh i loved their campus when i went back in like the sixth grade um the food was really nice which for me was a big thing that is all that has always been like a huge criteria with me as long as the food was good i was good so yeah um so yeah like the food was really good um the people was really not were, were really nice um harrisonburg is a really nice area um, there's a lot of things like around the campus, not just inside, like on the campus. Um, one of my like distant cousins had attended and she did really, re really well there. And I also had got accepted into the honors college. I was given work study. Um, I had the chance to go off for the Centennial Scholarship, but I did not follow through with the interview part only because I knew by that point that I wouldn't be able to go. Um, I applied for James Madison because it was like, you know, like I said, my, my top school in state. However, I wouldn't be able to go myself personally because um, of the connection that it had with uh, <laughs> somebody very important with, to me. So I um, chose the fact that, you know, I would essentially be going to, to the school looking for something specific that, that I could not obtain. And I didn't want that kind of tugging at me while I'm trying to focus on doing all of these other things at the same time. So I feel like it would be better if I just, you know, separate myself from it essentially. So I, fortunately, Damn you, I had to put it down. Next, I'm gonna talk about Georgia State. Uh, Georgia State also gave me a really nice scholarship. They gave me the, I think it was like the 100% out-of-state tuition thing, which would have taken like a, a dollar amount off of the out-of-state tuition to go to Georgia State. Um, really loved the campus. For me, it was like the VCU 
of Atlanta. And I really like that because it wasn't home. It was in Georgia, but it was the exact same kind of like feel, which I know is like dumb, but it was great at the same time. It was, you know, really nice and all of that, you know, as far as like the way the campus was set up, their business school was really nice. Like it looked really nice. They had a lot, they have a lot of different um, like study abroad and internship opportunities that I was really intrigued about. But a lot of my out of state decisions came down to whether or not I was getting scholarship money and I wasn't. <laughs> um, so with that being said, um, unfortunately I couldn't, I couldn't. It was a really, it was a really good school. For me, Atlanta was a target city. Um, that is where I want to go. So that was, you know, like my biggest thing. Um, so yeah, so that's essentially like the schools that gave me you know, they really like really gave me money that I had shown like a true interest in. Um, and finally, we have Virginia Tech. <laughs> so, yes, um, if you couldn't tell by the fact that I kind of went out of order unintentionally, um, I will be attending Virginia Tech in the fall, you know, class of 2025 or whatever, you know, some slight, you know my generation and these um and these odd numbers but um yes you guys so let's talk about it let's talk about it I received I and it was it's so crazy to think about it but because of everything that was going on at the time um because I was really hyped about Clark Atlanta and then I get an email saying that I essentially received a presidential it's like a presidential um initiative scholarship initiative i think is what it's called um and essentially i got a full academic ride to virginia tech um tuition room board fees the whole nine it was it literally like shook everything um my mind shifted a lot between uh, the whole debate of whether or not I wanted to go to a PWI or whether or not I want to go to an HBCU. And my whole high school career, I had always been talking about going to an HBCU because it was what I was used to as far as like the culture with the schools and stuff like that. Um, and for me personally, I had never been to a school that was uh, not predominantly African-American. So... I was always worried about like, you know, not having, you know, like the the culture shock and stuff like that, that people typically don't, you know, experience and stuff like that. You know, it would be like the culture shock, but reversed. Um, but just those little things that just kept egging me on. It was like, you know, do I go for the money or do I go for where I really want to be? And then, you know, like <sighs> little things like that. Um, but then I sat back and I really thought, and uh, one day I just woke up with this clarity that um, Virginia Tech was a school that I was really considering for graduate school if I did decide to stay in state. And to me, that says that I know that this is a really good school for business and for, you know, my secondary major English and, you know, for my minor in French. Um, I knew that it was a really good school um Virginia Tech holds weight in terms of you know like what it stands for um the resources that it has um and things of that nature and I really started to think that I can't pass up this in this this opportunity that is essentially giving me what I need if that is school for free I kind of look at it as I got really lucky um because I really didn't think that I was going to be going to school without a huge amount of debt which is what I wanted to avoid at all costs but because I wasn't getting any scholarships I was really like going through it thinking that I wasn't going to be able to afford college <laughs> um which was a reality that I just wasn't ready to like handle um but yes yes um my biggest points with them aside from the 
full ride um, was that Pamela College of Business is amazing. Um, let's let's talk about it. Their their College of Business is amazing. Um, all of the work that they do is both nationally and internationally recognized. Um, there is so many opportunities for you in business, from the internships to the mentor to the mentorship uh, prospect like prospects and opportunities and things like that um, that they allow you to do. There's a lot of like hands on experience, a lot of collaboration with classmates which I really liked. Um, one thing that really like, you know, struck me was the fact that I, you know, that to me tech is like this huge school, but their student to teacher ratio is only like 14 to one. And for your, uh, I do believe for like your major specific classes, which I love because it's as if you're going to like this huge school, but with not that many people, which is great because I go to a small school now where my graduating class is only 54 people. It has been a roller coaster to say the very least in terms of all of these decisions that I um, obtained and stuff like that and trying to narrow down like what are the schools that are A, giving me the most money and B, places that I can actually physically see myself at. Um, and that's kind of how I ended up with my top five. Um, and from there, it was really seeing like who was giving me the money and how much I really, you know, how much I really liked the school. And they won it out for me, man. They won it out for me. I'm really excited. Um, I also got accepted into the, the Ujima LLC. So shout out to them. Love that. But yeah, you guys, that's that's pretty much it. I appreciate you all for watching this video. I hope this was, you know, what I wanted it to be. Um, I was going back and forth about this video a lot. Um, but yes, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, all those lovely things. Turn on post notifications to be notified every single time that I post. And I will see you guys on the flip side. Bye. Yeah.